for the most part, the back button works just fine in the Chrome app for Android. But there are some times when a website is coded in a way that ruins the user experience when you use a browser how it's meant to be used. But there's actually a feature built directly into Chrome on Android that is a perfect workaround. And sadly, 95% of the people I have asked have said they didn't even know that this was possible. So sit back, pull up Chrome on your Android device, and let me show you how this feature works. I'm only using F-Droid as an example here, but this is an issue that I've noticed with more than one website out there. I'll be scrolling through some search results, going through a long, extensive page. I'll tap on one of those results, read the contents, and then when I go back, instead of the website saving my place, like F-Droid did, it actually resets me all the way to the top of that search page. Or there have been some websites out there that after I tap back, I'll find the entire website resets me back to the home page. Time and time again, I've read complaints from the community talking about poorly coded mobile websites absolutely ruining the user experience. But here's a little trick. The next time you're browsing the web in Chrome on Android, instead of doing a quick tap on that link, perform a long press gesture and then use the preview page feature to view the contents of that website. You'll notice that the link is going to load in a floating page that sits on top of your current tab. And you'll notice this preview feature works on images as well. So you can long press on the image itself, preview it in a floating tab. And this is really great for those websites that actually prevents you from using the pinch to zoom gesture on the full website, as you can get a better look at the image when you preview it. It's features like this that I feel get lost among the shuffle, especially when you see an exhaustive menu like this per from performing a long press gesture on a link within Chrome but I do hope that you're able to find good use for it. And I would greatly appreciate it if you shared this video with everyone that you know who owns an Android smartphone. The more people who are familiar with this feature, the better, since that means it will give Google less of a reason to remove it in a future update. Now, before I leave you, I have to ask that you give this video a like that you click on that new hype button that YouTube has been advertising below this video, and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't done so already.